Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, it is Monday and I thought this week I would bring you for a little college week of my life. Um, I'm talking really quietly right now because it is just after 7am. I just got dressed so my family can still sleep and um, yeah, we're just gonna have a pretty busy week. This week is a really big get shit done kind of a week. This morning I'm going to be presenting with my friends in one of my classes. I have class from 9am till 12 and then from 3 till 6. I already got a lot of like shit done yesterday. Um, I did my US taxes, registered for the Shannon, and my friends spread their presents so that was things I had to do for a while but they're all done now but yeah you'll see as we go on in this week that a lot of stuff is happening. I maybe have over scheduled myself but it's fine. Let's get this week started. So hello. I've seen intro this this earlier this morning, like about over an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. I'm now in the car driving to college. As I said earlier, I have class nine till twelve and then three till six today. And I'm presenting with actually one of my friends uh, in this first class, my peace building class. And yeah, it's a it's a very dreary morning here uh, we actually are having some issues with flooding so that's not good as of this morning I got so this is like a get shit done week and I already yesterday I finished my application for like applying to be able to vote in the Shannon which I feel like I also didn't explain that's the Senate here um, but it's not like a legislative body, it's it's different. And if you graduate from a national university of Ireland, you're entitled to a vote. So I did that for undergrad. This university is not NUI, so um, I registered for that. Well, I filled out the application and my mom, thankfully, one angel, she's gonna post that today. Uh, same with my US, it wasn't a tax form, it's a tax exemption form um, because, you know, I wasn't actually earning money you know you went into in life I had to do that and then it is my best friend's birthday coming up um, and she's in London and I made her a little little ornament kind of thing Um, I needle pointed it so I'm gonna post that off and I was writing her a letter and stuff like that so yeah this is a super super busy week maybe I'll put like my to-do list up here seen people do that uh, or the major things that are happening so Monday I just have this presentation and I have class all day uh, tomorrow I don't have anything officially but I really want to film um, because I haven't been able to do that in a while and it's just been like rough in that regard uh, Wednesday I so I volunteer with a like development aid organization um, and it's like the official one of the catholic church i just don't like mention it here because the social media policy is like confusing like it's fine if i mention it but i'm like so cautious um but i'm doing my first school's visit on wednesday and i'm going to be going to a local primary school and I'm going to be doing some talk there in classes uh, Thursday I'm coming back into Limerick here where I go to college um, it's about 40 minutes away 45 minutes away and I'm going to be going to a ballet Friday I have class 9 till 12 but I have like lots of work to do before and after that class so that is the general rundown of this week um, yeah obviously I won't be able to like bring you into the primary school with me and stuff like that but you know it should be it should be pretty good so I'm going to try and make my way to peace building class put on lipstick at some point sitting in this freaking car and um, I will check in later It is a long ass day. It's coming up to three now. I'm like the first one in the classroom. Because I left the library early. But I'm drinking a Diet Coke because I'm not going to make it through to this class without it. It's a three hour class and I'm getting sick. We love it. But I can kind of choose where to sit today, so that's nice. What's up? It's the end of the day. I'm looking, you know, not 
Okay, you can see my forehead. I'm not looking desperately greasy. I'm pretty greasy, but you know, that's life. Um, I'm leaving campus now. Obviously, you can just see the traffic everywhere. That's the great thing about this uh, nine till six day. It's morning rush hour and night rush hour. Uh, so I counted and collectively, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get to campus today. Uh, usually it takes me about 45 minutes, 50 minutes in the morning. So uh, that was rough. And um, I was 20 minutes late for class or like 25 minutes late for class. And yeah, it was just overall not good. So uh, I'm currently going to be dropping over to my friend's house. She borrowed like a mattress thing from me. So I'm just gonna pick that up from her. And then I'm going to call my mom and see if I need to pick up any food for my dinner. Is that where she lives? Yes. And there's people in the yellow box. There's a reason attached, my dudes. I look so rough because I rubbed off all of like my face makeup. My eye makeup is just like so. I'm wearing my Iguana Be in Costa Rica t shirt. Um, I'm in my pajamas. I just came home. I like ate food really quickly and got into my pajamas. And now I'm just gonna go downstairs. I need a point. It's already like late because um, I didn't get out of class till like six and then I picked up a thing and whatever. So um, I'm just gonna honestly have a chill evening with the parents um, but I'm just gonna work on my needlepoint that I'm working on at the minute I was actually designing in class sorry um, that's what I spent most of well I was paying attention most of the time too but yeah I'm breaking out all across my lip because my skin's that sensitive from waxing my lip cute um, but <laughs> I was designing an ornament for most of the class while paying attention it was just very confusing statistics and so I'm just gonna do that and I'm hoping to have a nice productive day tomorrow. Hello, hello, it's Tuesday morning. Uh, obviously, just had a shower. I've just kind of had a lazy morning. I was gonna go to the gym, but decided not to because my, also it looks like nice and sunny outside. It's uh, definitely not, but it uh, keeps hailstoning, whatever. So I'm gonna have to drive into town. Um, because I need to go into town, but, but I need new runners because I've like run through my shoes, if you know what I mean. And it was giving me a lot of pain in one of my feet and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do my makeup, obviously. Um, I obviously just had a shower as well. And I have a few errands to run today. I just want to go into town to get tea tree oil. I want to get evening primrose oil because I take that supplement and look for something for my brother for his birthday. So I'm going to have to drive into town, which is annoying, but... It's fine, um, and I was looking at my script for the thing I have to do tomorrow with the primary school, so I need to email that person back, and you know, lots of things to be done, but hopefully I'm also gonna get some needle pointing done today, so woo, because that's what I really want to do right now. <laughs> I'm just about to leave the house. But look at my angel, <laughs> look at her. You're such a cutie. Yeah. She's so sweet. So I'm gonna, I had a loyalty card for one of the health food shops in town and I seem to have lost it. So I could go to either one of them. There's a couple in our town, which is kind of strange, but I really don't wanna drive, but it says that there's gonna be like massive rain shower in like 10 minutes. And then there's gonna be like loads after that. So better drive even though I don't want to. I'll feel better once I have these errands run. It's just one of those kind of days. I just want to take a quick moment to rant. Does anybody else hate it? I'm sorry. Windshield wipers. When you're in a car park and there's lots of parking spaces but you are kind of looking and maybe the other person looking for something very specific too. I'm not a super confident parker so I was like you know I'm gonna go up to the, one of the higher levels where there's fewer cars whatever and this person following directly behind you the entire time do you know what i'm talking about like there are plenty of spaces it's like more mature person i think maybe they would have better parking skills i don't know maybe they're like myself but there are so many spaces yet they're following directly behind me the entire time i don't know why it's one of those things in a car park that like bothers me so much when people don't give you any personal space um, just because I'm really afraid of hitting other cars. Because I have done it before, so. 
that's that I'm parked anyways whatever and I'm gonna go grab the few things I need to get I'm also thinking I'm gonna go look at runners today while I'm in town might as well cuz I need them So I was able to get all the stuff I needed in town. I'm just getting evening primrose oil, I think I said that. Uh, I started taking this supplement for acne because I have um, hormonal acne, uh, but like non-cyclic hormonal acne. So I was on um, medications and like long story short, I can't be on them anymore. So I tried taking this because it's supposed to be like hormone balancing and it uh, freaking works. So I would recommend that. And I got tea tree oil, which I am going to use undiluted on my piercing we'll get to that later um and i got a toning treatment for my hair but i also did end up buying new runners uh, i don't have them with me because we had to like order them online because i didn't want the orange and well it was blue and orange ones so uh i decided to get them in like all black which isn't the best I would obviously prefer if they had like white soles or something like that but these are like all black um but like if they're really really ugly i might return them but we'll see about that um so they're going to be in store in a couple of days but now i kind of have i ate my lunch um my hair is really soft right now it's nice uh but I think I'm just going to... Like, I do have some school things I could be doing, but I really don't feel like doing them. So I'm probably not going to do them. And I'm just going to hang out with the sparkles. She's in a different spot on the couch than she was earlier. Yeah. She's just the sweetest dog. So, yeah, I'm just going to do those few things and maybe needlepoint a bit. But that's... You know, this is like the quiet day this week, so. Currently doing a little bit of stitching, watching Catfish, Diet Coke, living my best life. Um, my parents are gonna be home soon. Um, obviously I said my dad had that minor surgery, so he will be taking the couch for the next couple of days. So I thought I'd park myself here. As you can see, I'm doing the fill color. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. This canvas is actually something I designed and painted myself. I just don't look so cute. I have a very much a founding father's, you know, US founding father's hairstyle. You can see all of my hair regrowth, thanks to the evening primrose oil again. But uh, yeah, I was, messing around with my cartilage piercing, which if you're wondering why it's like kind of a problem, it's because I switched the earring after five weeks, because I'm an idiot. Uh, it's a good quality earring, it's Astrid and Mew, and it's so pretty, but I definitely fucked it up. Um, so I put the tea tree on it, and it, uh, I thought it would be fine. I've used topical tree, tea tree before, um, but looking a little rough right now, so have to keep my hair out of it. I think having wavy curly hair doesn't help. But um, but yeah, about designing the canvas, I talked about it before in a previous vlog, I think, how I would love to get into like designing and painting canvases more and do things like that. And I actually did two. I did this one and I did another one, but then I was like, the other one isn't so like sellable because it's an Irish. And I feel like the, not only the Needlepoint market is small. The Irish one is also probably non-existent given that I can't even get most of my supplies here uh, So, you know, it's still cute. You know, maybe people will like it With Irish heritage or something. I don't know um, but I'm working on some designing some other things as well Which I just thought would be fun to share. I'm really excited about it It's just that college is a lot right now because it's not just regular college. It's grad school Oh my word well, it is Wednesday and it is like 2 p.m. But I had a bit of a hectic morning. Uh, car was frozen, got up a little late, things like that. And I've been in the school since then, really, once I finally got here. Uh, I still have a blue t-shirt on for the charity. I keep thinking, I don't know if you can hear that, the river is rushing underneath here. And I keep, th I thought before as well, I thought I left my car running, which I certainly didn't. But I have to go pick up the runners that I ordered should really unlock my car first um but i think i talked about it yesterday how i made a big mistake oh i had a big meltdown yesterday yeah very stressed um but that's why i didn't really finish off vlogging um i'm gonna take off 
my t-shirt because it's like covering up my it's like a short sleeve t-shirt over my cute top so I'm gonna go pick up the runners which I have already decided I'm gonna return in like two days um because they're so ugly because I made a mistake because I'm an idiot but what's new so I'm gonna walk into town and I'm gonna eat when I go home I'm not gonna get anything in town the goods have been acquired but the flooding is crazy in town the river is so high we are back in the car. Obviously, I forgot my vlog camera. Um, that's why we're on the phone since half an hour, 40 minutes ago when I first talked to you. Um, I went and I picked up the shoes, which, yeah, I'm going to return. I've already decided. But I, I want to try them on and see um, if the fit is good, if I am actually happy with the like model of shoe that I've chosen. Uh, yeah, you'll see why they're like mad ugly. That's pretty much it. They're entirely black, including the sole, which is just like mad ugly. So, uh, yeah, the school talk went really well. Kids say the darndest things. I'll also say that, but uh, I'm close to home and I'm hungry. I'm gonna have some lunch now. Um, but yeah, it was overall a good time. Yeah, this morning I woke up a little late and then it was like, I got out to my car. It's only like six minutes away from my house. Uh, ready to go meet uh, the woman who's like the coordinator for this area. And there was frozen, like thick ass frozen hail on my windscreen. I couldn't get it off. I was using antifreeze stuff. I was using like in the spray can, warm water, like had the fans going in the car. It just wouldn't freaking melt. So I had to like hack some of them some of it off as well um but we got it off we got there we were a little late i wasn't late for the actual classes it's just that i was supposed to meet um that person before but i am tired oh talking to kids and i didn't even do all the presentations like she did more than half i would think um but yeah i'm excited to just like make myself a bagel maybe an egg and cheese mm, yes it's like they're 10 past three now so i'm doing that all day um, but yeah, I don't, don't, I don't think I missed my calling being a primary school teacher. I will say that. Kids are adorable, uh, and I love kids, but I do not want to be a teacher. I am glad I am not on that path. Props to you if you were a teacher. Very good. So no for me, dog. No for me. But it's a brand new school building, so I was really excited to see it, because I'm from town, and it's like in my town, so I was always excited to like see the inside of it because they just got a new building like almost two years ago and it's amazing so yeah I'm excited to just like eat food and try and relax kind of uh, there's other things I could be doing today but I think I'm gonna do them tomorrow if you know what I mean I feel like I've done a lot today even though you've seen none of it we were in six classes so we had to do the presentation like six times and they were from age five to age 12 so it was a lot but yeah you really realize like five-year-old man five-year-olds there's something else anyways I'm gonna go home eat a bagel drink a diet coke maybe do some needlepoint have a good time just honestly have good so i'm gonna show you this is my sticker order my ugly ass shoot they're not that ugly but they're expensive they're brooks runners and i'm not gonna settle for Brooks Runner prices, if you know what I mean. Um, so let me show you these all oh, shoes. They are all black. And I guess that's some people's look. But when they said black, I thought they meant like with a white sole, <laughs> like a normal shoe. But these just look like boys' school shoes to me. Like what they would have to wear with their uniform. So yeah, they're comfortable. I really want to try them out. Because they're supposed to be really good for stability in the ankle and <laughs> if you're new here hi i have shitty ankles and knees and uh feet because i have like mild type of mobility so i'm gonna try this out i just want to say my hair this is second day hair what it really just is living its best life right now i've obviously switched off diva curl products if you've heard of all that scandal but um yeah I did like a toning thing with it and I used my Shea Moisture mask and I didn't use my Shea Moisture cream. I just used curl 
cream, like from Boots, is doing really well. I look like death right now because I'm just using the outside lamp to light me. I'm outside with sparkles. Um, but I think I'm getting sick, which is not cool. Are you ready to go inside? Okay. Um, but I decided to kind of take the evening off all of my schoolwork and just kind of relax because I thought I was getting sick. And I don't with a lot of children today, so I have some emails to do, so I'm going to do those now. But that's kind of have an easy evening. Good morning. It's Thursday morning and I'm going to the gym, but I thought I would just show you this cute set. This is from a Girlfriend Collective. I love it. So cute. It's pretty low cut and I had what I think is an allergic reaction to a necklace a couple of days ago, so it doesn't look that cute, but I love this set so much. And I'm just gonna go do a little workout, come back shower and get ready to go into Limerick. Mm. That was good, but I didn't film like anything inside because the only space where I was going to film something, there was another person there and he was straight up like doing like lifting weights with his neck. Oh, it was weird. Anyways, home, shower, get ready for the rest of today. But what time is it? It's half 11. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And I was very broke. I just wore this set. I was actually working out. I'm also hungry. I really want lunch. And it's only 11.30, so. Might have an early lunch. My room is such a mess. My life is such a mess. But I'm getting sick. And it's so funny because I'm listening to all this like COVID-19 stuff on the radio downstairs. And I'm like. Because I have lived through avian flu, swine flu, SARS, MERS. Um, and foot and mouth, they're all of the mumps, all of those outbreaks. I'm fully vaccinated, but I could have gotten out all of those things because I was like in areas where all of them were very present. I'm not gonna get coronavirus, but I feel so run down. I could literally just crawl into bed right now. It's so weird, never get sick like this, but I'm ready for going, ignore the mess. This is a super cute dress. I'm waiting honestly for my mom to come home to take a pic because this dress is really cute. Um, it's actually thrifted, it's from Whistles originally. Love a good thrifted piece. Yeah, it has these cute sleeves as well. Just back from the dry cleaners. So I'm actually making like a cookie for one downstairs. Um, I've had lunch, but I'm not gonna be back for dinner or anything like that. Um, and I'm gonna leave pretty soon to go to Boots, which is like, yeah, Boots is. It's like a pharmacy, drugstore kind of thing. And um, Elvery's, it's a sports shop to return the ugly shoes so i'm gonna do that because it's close to camp there's like big ones close to campus and then drive to campus and go to the library be a good student and then go to the ballet with my friend which is fun ballet always kind of when i go to watch ballet now it kind of makes me feel like a real like has been and kind of a failure i don't think i think like i'm not really into like this whole like self-care kind of things but i feel like if we're looking at it from that perspective it's probably not a good idea for me to go but bought my ticket, so I'm going. It's not an Irish ballet, it's a Russian ballet, I think. Um, so yeah, gonna go to that, should be fun. And maybe tomorrow I'll clean my room. But I'm gonna be busy tomorrow too, so it's just wishful thinking. We made it. You can't see anything. The winter sun is, it's such a beautiful day out, but the winter sun is very intense today and it's making me look a little oily in the car. Yeah, I got here to Boots. I forgot the shoes, my mom called me. I think I forgot my student card. Uh, I think I said this earlier and I've been saying it to my parents. I am definitely sick. Uh, I've come down with something. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's nothing good. So yeah, um, I knew I was uh, really tired. Someone right beside me. Yeah, I've been really tired, like really, really exhausted, and I could literally just go to bed right now. And it's been like that for a couple of days. I was coughing a little bit, but not majorly. Like I'm not actually sick, it's just like exhaustion. Don't know what it is, I hope I didn't get something weird. So yeah, I'm gonna go in, checklist of things I need to 
get, I'll put it here. I need to get stuff for my brother. I need to get new tweezers because I broke mine. I need to get something else. Ooh, a hair mask. Um, and then anything else. And the worst, and didn't film in there, but it's also like boots. What am I gonna do? Uh, I got what I needed to get. Got new tweezers. I got these ones because they were on clearance. Uh, they're from Skinny Dip and they're cute. And the tweezerman ones are like 16 or 17 euro. And I was like, hmm, no. Uh, I ended up getting my brother spending more than I, not more than I, he's 21. And he really, like, there's kind of this joke in the house at the minute, like in our family. He really wanted some sort of fragrance. It's a long story. So I got him Dolce & Gabbana light blue. It's all good. Because uh, that smells really, really nice. And I know he'd like it. I got Shea Moisture mask. Shea Moisture is the best. And I also decided to try out this new brand of fake tan called Sunkist. Maybe a review coming to you soon. It's supposed to be like 95% natural formula, vegan, cruelty free. This is the express one hour because they didn't have the light regular one. They just had medium, dark, extra dark. And given that this is my natural color, sometimes we're going on a little bit too dark. It can look not good. So I'm going to head to campus now. I have to pee so bad. I don't know what time it is, but it's like I'm going to be in the library for a long time, which I need to do. But I'm so tired. The ballet is at 8, so I'll probably honestly leave the um, library around 7. Happy Friday! Uh, sorry about the windshield wipers that you can hear in the background. Um, it is pouring rain right now. Um, I am so tired. You can probably tell by my face. Uh, it's not from, like, I wasn't that late last night. Um, went to the ballet. Actually, yes, update on that. I didn't, uh, finish yesterday. Uh, so went to the library, went to the ballet, came home, went to sleep. Uh, in the library I was working on presentation now I'm v stressed because I realized that the presentation is actually worth 40% of my grade in that class it needs to be 20 minutes and have a 2,000 word summary so that's great um, that's on Monday um, let's see if I can turn these down for a second there you go um, and then we went to the ballet and it was the quote Royal Moscow Ballet now do your own research I used to dance if you're new here hi um, yeah I used to dance growing up and it was mostly focused in ballet and I could tell you that I was pretty certain that Royal Moscow Ballet was a fake ball like a fake company Not a fake company but like it doesn't sound like what it is and boy was it true um, like no shade no tea the ballet was a uh, piss poor I mean yeah I'm not gonna go into technicalities, but it was piss poor. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, like, I feel bad saying that about the dancers, but oh shit. Um, yeah. Mm. So now I'm on my way to class. Um, I'm class nine till 12. Hopefully I get there in time. I got here at a good enough time, like into the line of traffic at a pretty good time. So hopefully it's okay. Um, and then I will likely go to the library then to return the runners that I forgot to bring with me yesterday and then home and we're gonna go out for drinks like my brother's having like not a party but like a small thing at, at a bar in town so a pub like but a nice pub so some his friends are gonna be there and whatever but maybe some of his friends families and you know they might just drop in for like the first hour which is what we're gonna do so that is the plan for today I could really just light it I don't know what's wrong with me my friend says uh, who's a medical student I text her <laughs> and she said that it sounds like the beginnings of the flu and I said I don't have time for the flu so that's what I say to the flu but I'm giving up swearing for Lent, so hopefully that goes well. Now we go to class. This is a great class, though. Global justice. It's a bit of an emotional workout because it's all like discussion and everything, but it's very, very useful. So important stuff.
Oi, oi, oi. My ear hurts. <sighs> Stupid cartilage piercing. Uh, the light is terrible here. Left the library. I just had enough, honestly. Um, I'm gonna work on it at home. I wish I could just kind of, I really hate this Monday, Friday schedule. I don't know how many times I say it, but I'm considering going in tomorrow. Uh, just because it seemed like maybe the responsible thing to do. Um, that's a bit better. So I might do that tomorrow because again this presentation has to be 20 minutes long. And it's fine. It's just making it like really academic. I'm not into the like really statistic part yet. Uh, just kind of giving the background and stuff like that. And it's hard to know when you're doing a presentation. The whole referencing thing kind of gets bit out of hand and then I have to do that summary that's what's really freaking me out like if it was just a presentation I'd be really comfortable with it but the summary really throws me off but I'll just tell you it's on the um whether or not I was like it does um temporary membership on the UN Security Council influences World Bank decisions um which I didn't choose because the UN and that's why I'm kind of like People are going to think I like stan the UN, which I enjoy it, you know, I'm a bit of an altruist so I think sometimes uh, it comes out in those ways, but um, if you haven't seen my other videos I'll link them in the cards. Um, I interned at the UN, so yeah, people kind of know that about me and they're, you know, I can just feel the eye rolls already, uh, but it was the article that I chose because I waited too long to sign up for them and there were only really boring ones left so didn't want Brexit so I got this one so I'm just kind of going through basic UN Security Council structure and some of the things in that article are now wrong and I know that but I have to like is it relevant to fix it and stuff like that and then I'm like so ready to like throw shade at things which I'm just not gonna go into because I don't want to start beef with people in the class who are already very aggressive so yeah, uh, so I'm gonna go return the ugly shoes and head home, have some lunch. It's like half two, I think. Uh, so it's actually pretty early in the day to have gotten a lot of stuff done because my class was until 12. So yeah, I drank a Diet Coke and I feel so much better. <laughs> that also helped. I'm gonna have to work on this at home. I won't be able to needlepoint, but I get to finally share my first finish of uh, 20. 20 on Instagram today because Rebecca my best friend she finally got it in the post um the my first finish of 2020 it was go onto my Instagram at anime.yt look at it it was like a little like a street sign I don't know why I love a good street sign um because I've done a Lexington Avenue one and a East 92nd Street one I'm still working on that one but uh hers it's Magdalene Street in London and uh it was my first like needlepoint as opposed to cross stitch but it turned out really cute so you should definitely go look at it very happy with how it turned out she really likes it so that's good and i can finally share it's actually i'm sharing a photo from london and also that hopefully later today so i realized that i don't think i'm sick i think i'm just pmsing really bad so i just need to eat more food specifically more fatty food and i know i'll feel so much better also i have colonial bun happening here yeah, that's the perks of having hair like wire. Okay, it's the road. Currently hanging out with Sparkles. She's sleeping. And I'm watching videos of my phone. <laughs> um, you know, it's me talking. <laughs> she can't hear very well. Hi. Oh, hey, you joining us? Oh, thank you. I'm the worst at this. Went into a pub. For my brother's 21st that was it wasn't like a party uh it was just him having drinks with his friends and then my parents were like organizing it they were like oh well, you know he was like oh you should come in for a drink or two so we're there for like an hour and a half and i'm gonna have a shower and that is it for this college week of my life i was thinking of continuing it through the weekend but pretty much just gonna be working on that uh presentation my eyes look crazy because I'm so tired. That is it for this college week of my life. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next one.